Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucy if you're new here and if you are new here I would love it if you hit the subscribe button wherever it is down below. I post about all sorts of things from cooking videos, lifestyle, favourites videos, vlogs, all of that sort of stuff so if that's the kind of thing that you enjoy then make sure you do subscribe to make sure you see all my new videos. So in today's video I'm going to do a little bit of a wedding haul. I'm really excited about doing this because I haven't really done a lot of wedding related content yet. I will pop a little playlist of any wedding videos that I have done if you wanted to know a little bit more about where we're getting married and what our plans are. But yes, this video is solely dedicated to showing you some things that I picked up for the wedding day itself and also actually a couple of things that I've picked up for the hen party. So I'm just going to jump straight into the video because there is quite a lot of things to show you. One of the first things I have here is some table numbers and these were actually just plain wooden ones so I'll show you the original colour on the back. Um, plain wooden numbers and I have actually sprayed them this coppery rose gold colour. Um, I need to spray the back of them as well because I realise that you're going to see the front and the back. Um, I'm basically going to have these sat in little jars with flowers to show people what table number is which we're not going to do like names for our tables or anything like that just because we can't really think of anything so I just thought that these would be really cute for table numbers. These are from a company called Ginger Ray. I'm sure that if you're getting married you've heard of Ginger Ray before. They just do so much really cool modern wedding stuff. So I'm going to show you the, the spray that I've used for these because I think it's so good. This is called Rust-Oleum Metallic Brilliant Finish in Bright Copper and it is the best spray paint ever. It comes out like exactly kind of like this. You can spray it on glass, on metal, on wood, on paper and it works really well. I would say use a mask with it because last time I didn't and I actually felt like I was high or drunk or something. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been using to spray things with. The next thing I have is also from Ginger Ray and it is these little signs to go on the back of our wedding chairs. And again, they were this wooden colour and I've sprayed them copper. This one says groom and this one says bride. And I think I'm just going to hang these on the backs of our chairs for our ceremony. So for when we're signing the, whatever it is, the register is it? Uh, so when we're like signing our marriage certificate and then all, they will move to our seats at the top table like just on the back of the chairs I just thought that they would look really cute and they kind of tie in with our barn and sort of like botanical theme. Next up here is a couple of really simple things and that is some glasses. So this one I've actually sprayed. I haven't done it very well. I think it needs another coat. So um, yeah I did this with a quick spray of that spray paint just to see how it would turn out. So I'm planning on having lots of clear jars and glasses of all different sizes and then a few bronzy coppery ones dotted around and these are four flowers so we're gonna have like wildflowers and daisies and gypsophilia and also in the clear ones I'll probably pop some little scented tea lights as well just to give it a bit of a like romantic feel and also make the room smell really nice so my friends and family have been collecting lots of these for us and yeah I thought I'd spray one and see how it came out but it definitely needs maybe like one or two more coats. Next up I've got something I picked up last year actually from Primark and it's these little signs. I love how Primark have started to do a little wedding range now. I think it's so cute. But yeah, these were last year. They're like chalkboard signs and they came with a little packet of chalk. So I'm not really sure where I'm going to use these yet. Maybe just inside our barn or like on the outside of the door telling everyone where to go for the ceremony and things like that. Just thought that they would look quite cute. And this was only £5, which I just think is an absolute bargain. Another item from Ginger Ray I picked up is this photo frame so I'm not going to get it out because it's too big to really show you on camera but it is basically a bit like an Instagram photo Polaroid type frame that you hold up or I might hang up and then people can grab a prop and have their picture taken in it. I just thought it would be quite cute. I might actually get some like fake flowers or like pictures of flowers and stick them up on it. I might spray it copper. I'm not really sure yet but it was really inexpensive and just like an easy way to make your own photo booth. So my photo booth needs a bit of a backdrop so I ordered a few other things from Ginger Ray and this is like a sheet of like sparkly gold, I don't know what you'd call it, what do they call it? 
Add a sparkle to your photo booth set up with a gold curtain. Okay, so they just call it a gold curtain. I thought if I pop this behind, it would add like a nice backdrop. I also picked up these little garlands as well. This is called a confetti garland, and these are like a more rose gold color. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna put all this yet, but I'm just gonna try and make like a little photo booth area and just try and make it look pretty. So I picked up three of those. They are also from Ginger Ray. This next thing actually had me in stitches. Spot the mistake. <laughs> So this is a cake topper and of course it should say Mr. and Mrs. But for some reason I got a Mrs. and Mrs. one. It would be quite funny if we just left it like that and see if anyone spots the mistake. But um, yeah, I'm going to change this one for a Mr. and Mrs. And this is a cake topper. And again, it's in that wood colour and I am yet to spray it. But I'm going to spray it copper to fit in with the rest of it. And of course it is from Ginger Ray. Oh, I've just realised I've got something that I probably won't use. So I've got this Mr. and Mrs. Rose Gold like hangy sign thing again it's not at the packet but this is what it looks like um i did originally get this to go on the back of our chairs before they started doing the wooden ones so i don't know if we will use this at the wedding day or if maybe we'll use it in our bedroom like the day of or the day after or something for like a nice picture but yeah i don't know if we're going to use this in the wedding yet um because i'm not really sure where it would go but i thought it was quite cool anyway and it ties in with the theme so i promise these are the last two bits from ginger ray this video is not sponsored by them by the way i just really really love all the stuff that they do so i also picked up these little instagram cards so these fold down um i'll show you these like fold down like this so it says on here if you use instagram please use and then it's got a little blank space there where you can put your hashtag so i'm gonna have hashtag houch in wedding so that everybody can tag pictures and we can see them all together in one place i thought these were really cool um i got two packs of these because they come in packs of five um so there is one for each table there and yeah i just thought that that would be and it would like look nice on the table as well as being practical as well as obviously i am like a total massive instagram fan so the last thing i got from ginger ray is something that i don't know if i really like and it's this card box um obviously it's not made up it's flat packed at the moment but it will be like a box shaped for cards <laughs> Um, I really liked it online, but when it came, I didn't realise how pink this box was. And I actually do, do think it looks a little bit cheap. So I don't know if I'm going to use this. I'm going to see. I might make it up and then see what it looks like. See if I can, like, jazz it up with, like, some fake ivy or something. And I suppose at the end of the day, it's just somewhere to keep cards safe and things like that. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to use this yet, but I thought I'd show you it anyway. And it's also from Ginger Ray. So I'm going to show you something that isn't from Ginger Ray. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to show you something we picked up in Sainsbury's, which I cannot believe was from Sainsbury's. So this is a table plan that we are planning to use. It says on it, find your seat. And it's got these little, um, like, hangy wire things with little copper, um, what do we call these? Clips. So you can either put like photos of people or you could put the little table numbers that they provide. I've just put these on a little sandwich bag, but... If you can see that, that's a little card that says one and it says one to 12. So you could use these little cards or make your own or whatever. I'm not really sure what we're gonna put on it yet, but just thought that that was a really cute table plan and it was really inexpensive as well. I think, I can't tell you how much it was because it doesn't say. It was like, I feel like it was like 15 pounds or something, which I just think is really reasonable and a lot less than you'd probably hire something like this for. And then to match that, also from Sainsbury's, we got this little guest book, which I think is so cute. And it says our day on it. And I just thought it was really nice. And again, the copper and the writing just goes really well with the theme of our wedding. And it just feels like a really nice pricey book. And it just wasn't expensive at all. I think this was like 10 pounds or something. So I thought I'd show you a couple of things that I've got for my, hem parties and then also something that I picked up for my bridesmaids just because it's wedding related as well so this is something that I picked up for my hem party so I'm going to Croatia in July and I needed like some swimwear so I picked up this little one piece it says bride on it in gold and it's a little bit tacky a little bit cheesy but do you know what I'm gonna roll with it because I am the bride so yeah I got this one piece from Boohoo again it was really inexpensive and yeah it does the job and it's actually quite flattering as well from Primark I got this little eye mask that says on it bride I don't know if I would really wear this but I thought it would make for a nice photo and I just seem to be really drawn towards things that say bride on I also got my bridesmaids a little gift to go in like a box that I'm going to do for them for the wedding day and this says bride vibes on it 
These are from Primark and you've probably seen them everywhere because I've seen so many people get them for their wedding day. So I'm thinking that I'll give the girls these the night before the wedding. They do actually already know that they're getting these so I'm not spoiling any surprises here but I'm going to pop these in a box before the wedding night and we can all wear them together and maybe get like a nice photo or something. But yeah I just thought it would be nice to have like a nice pair of pyjamas and they again they go with like my colour scheme. Oh my, I've also got a pair of these and they say bright to be on them so yeah they just match these but with bright to be on the front so as I said I am going to Croatia for my hen party in July but I'm very lucky and I'm also having one in London in just a couple of weeks time so I picked up an outfit for both the girls said I should wear white so I bought a white outfit for London and it is this little lace number I might insert a picture of me wearing it so you can see it better um, but yeah it's got like a sheer panel at the front where you can kind of see a little bit of boobage but it's not like too slutty and then some sheer arms and it's quite fitted and then it's got a really nice sort of hem at the bottom as well and I really 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 love this it's from in the style and this and the other dress I'm going to show you I got for 36 pounds because they had this like 40% off code if you bought it through the app so I just downloaded the app and then ended up getting them both for £36. But I really love the neckline on this as well. I feel like a neckline can really make a piece of clothing. And then at the same time, also from In The Style and for £35 for the both, I got this little dress. So I feel like this is a little bit like, I don't want to say slutty, but it kind of like, for me... This is quite revealing. I wouldn't normally wear something like this, but I just feel like it's my wedding. It's my hem party, sorry. And I should just be able to wear something that I feel good in. And I do feel quite good in it. It does look a little bit like underwear, I think, on camera. But it's this little dress. Again, it's lace and it's got this sheer panel across the middle. And it is relatively long. I wouldn't say it's like super short. Again, it's got this really nice hemmed bit at the bottom, which I just think makes it look so, so nice and a lot more expensive than it is. Um, I was, again, like I said, worried about it looking like lingerie, but I think with a nice pair of sandals and jewellery and maybe some like, I don't know, something to sort of like dress it down a little bit would just make it look a lot less trashy than it kind of looks on its own. So that is everything in my wedding haul that I'm going to show you. I might try and do a couple more of these as the wedding gets closer. I'm getting married in August, so there's only a few months to go. But do let me know if you want to see any more wedding related videos and suggestions for what those videos might be. Let me know if you're getting married this year as well and we can be like wedding friends. I'll see you in my next video guys, bye.